Take it easy, tequila, man. Things aren't that ugly. Says you. Hmm. I'm right. We're not gonna miss Joshua. And the fans are all over the band getting back together. Hey, look, Casper. Maybe that works for you, all right? But I can't go there again. Not after everything that's happened. Well, maybe things will be different this time. I mean, with Joshua out of the picture, we could... I bet you haven't talked to Caleb. Well, we will. Especially once he hears the Rolling Stone and people call. <laughs> yeah, we're real rock stars. Look, man, I know you're a little bummed. Um, that girl that died, uh... Karen. Yeah, Karen. You guys were close. And Gacy just disappearing. But you love playing music. Yeah, I never said that I didn't, all right? It's just the rest of it. It's a bunch of BS, all right? I would give up any, any cover of Rolling Stone to see Casey again. my apartment. What are you doing upstairs in the storage room? I, um, God, I was just putting some stuff away for Jack, and I just, I don't know, I came. He didn't warn you about the loose floorboards and the weak floor? Yeah, no, you, no. Oh, my God. Are you, are you okay? Are you? Yeah, 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 I, I guess. <sighs> <laughs> you kind of broke my fall. Yeah, I, I've always liked that bed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Don't worry about it. God, I mean, just hired me, and I really don't want to lose my job. No, you're fine. You're fine. Just, uh, just flash that pretty smile, and you'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Again, I'm sorry. Um, is that... Yeah, yeah right okay, okay. Are okay. okay. you fine? All right, all right, all right. No, don't even think about it. Times have changed. I'm a vampire. Can't be thinking about that. Even though she fell right into my bed. <laughs> the ring. Oh, ring. I want the ring. What? I know you have it, Allison. Give it to me. How many times have I told you I do not have oh, the please. ring? Oh, please. You know, Caleb may believe every lying word that drips off your tongue, but I know you better. You were the last one to see it on Joshua's hand, and it just magically disappeared? I don't think so. You know hand it over. I'll tell you something. I have just been to hell and back, and I do not need your paranoid ravings. And I don't need you pushing me. Look, I will shove you any time I want. You know why, Livy? Because you never seem to hear me. You need to stop causing trouble for me. You need to stop threatening me. And you have got to make me stop feeling so incredibly miserable. You lied. You broke your promise. The good guy, usually played by Rafe Kovich, came in here to find the ring for himself. What, what powers does it have, Caleb, huh? Our agreement was I help you get back, Allison. You help me get the ring. No questions asked. Okay, now here's the thing. You've obviously been looking for it for a while. I mean, you were here before looking for it, and you're here now. It might help if you put a little light on, huh? Now, we can probably assume it's not here. So what's your best guess? I don't know. And to tell you the truth, now that I think about it, I don't really care. Good riddance. Not so fast. I'm not finished. Need a menu? 
Hey. You. You. Well, is still working. Yeah, for one whole hour. <laughs> you must have flashed that pretty smile of yours. Well, actually, I didn't tell Jack that I sort of fell through the storage room. Oh, okay. And onto my bed. Yeah, I just thought I'd... I just thought I'd pay to get the floorboards fixed. Oh, girl, please. Don't do this. It's not your fault. Well, I really want to keep this job. Jack is one of my best friends, and I've been telling him to get those floorboards fixed, and he hasn't done it yet, so just, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, what did you like? I'm sorry, what? Your order? Oh, just give me a, a, a tuna sandwich and a beer. You got it. All right. Tuna sandwich. I, <laughs> I wanted a veggie burger, not a tuna sandwich. Right? <laughs> All right, Jamal, she's got you open. Yep, she's got you open. I don't know where the ring is, and it has been nothing but trouble. Yeah, but I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, but nothing. I promise you, if I didn't know where the ring was, I would throw it in the river because it's just as poisonous as you are. Is that where Rafe is, huh? Is that what your boyfriend doing? Is he uh, getting rid of the ring somewhere? Don't be so ridiculous. Okay? Then where is he? I don't know where he is. Where is Caleb? That's not the point. Oh, I see. He doesn't even know that you're here, does he? That's fabulous. And I bet you know where they are, don't you? I can guess. Right, they're at the mansion. Together, looking for the ring, which of course none of us no, has. No, 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 Caleb wouldn't do that. Not, not after. Not after what? Well, we talked about it. And he said that I'm the only thing that matters to him. You can't honestly, honestly tell me that you think that he thinks that love is enough. You know, you don't know a damn thing about my relationship. After all of the lying and cheating that you've been through, you can't tell me that you haven't learned a damn thing about men and power and what they'll do to get Yeah, I understand plenty. Thank you. You're in a great state of denial, Libby, and I think that you just want to believe that love is enough. God, Allison, when did you become such a cynic? When did I become such a cynic? When I thought that love was enough to defeat you and Caleb. When I was willing to sacrifice myself to Joshua, that monster, and give him everything he wanted all to save the man that I love. And when I almost killed Rafe myself. And in the end, he ended up saving me anyway. Yeah, in the end, now the two of you can live your happily ever after, that stupid storybook love of yours. What is your problem, My Allison? problem is the same as yours. Rafe and Caleb, they are off together. They didn't tell either one of us, which means that this ring means more to them than we do. Oh, God, this is, this is going to be one huge pity party, isn't it, Allison? Allison. Allison, Allison! You just don't get it. That ring is a family heirloom. It's passed down to me from my father and his father before him. And when did you put such a high price on sentiment? You know I've always valued history. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. The ring is exactly what I told you. No more, no less. And it doesn't matter because we had a deal. That's a deal I fully intended to honor, too, because getting Allison back was all that was ever important to me. Do you understand? Then you should help me. Help me find okay, it. you know what? The, the deal was to get the ring from Joshua. Now, Joshua was gone. The ring has disappeared. So as far as I'm concerned, all bets are off. What do you become? Some kind of lawyer? Fumbling with technicalities? You used to be a man of your word. Yeah. Well, there used to be a lot of things. The bet is off when I say it's off. One veggie burger, <laughs> fries well done, veggie and a burger. draft. <laughs> oh, no, you ordered the tuna. No, 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 this is what I wanted. I ordered no. the tuna, the tuna was a no, mistake. No, 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 actually. I blew it again. I'm so... <sighs> no, 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 seriously, it's it's like you read my mind or something. Come on, you're just being nice. No, I'm not being nice. I mean, I, mean, I am nice, but I'm not being nice about... You know what, this. you just must think I am the world's most terrible waitress. No. Or a complete idiot. No, no, you just, you just know. Okay, you'll be fine. You think? When I came to Port Charles, I was uh, I was all over the place. It just takes you a little bit of time to to get your bearings straight, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. But thank you for the veggie burger. Perfect. Yeah, no problem. All right. Allison. Get off. Oh, sit. Oh, 
Are you done? Or are you gonna keep raving until you implode? I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like, I keep on feeling so dizzy, and I keep, you're going through can't withdrawal focus. symptoms. What do you know? You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Little Miss Ellison on a rant about how useless love is? I don't think so. Please, you're coming down from the drugs Joshua gave you. I'm not some sort of junkie. Look, you listed your symptoms. Don't tell me you didn't think something was wrong, that something didn't make you stab your boyfriend in the chest and in the face. Hello? Am I talking to a brick wall here? I didn't know what I was doing, but I... I still did do it. I didn't mean to. Well, I mean, he, he did set you up. You're right. You did do it. None of it seemed real. I just didn't. Oh, God, are you feeling guilty? I mean, Allison trashing love? I hate to break it to you, but you actually need to go to school to be a shrink. You can't just inherit that. So if I were you, I'd just keep your opinions to yourself, OK? OK, you, my dear, are right on the edge. I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, but I can't blame Rafe for not forgiving me. Are you serious? I mean, he actually blames you for what happened? No. He says that he doesn't. He says he forgives me, but... I mean, honestly, how could you? How could anyone after something like that? Don't be a jerk, please. You guys are like the love story of the century. Of course he forgives you. But what if he doesn't, you know? I don't even know why I'm asking you this. Like, you even care. You're only... No, 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 Allison, I do. I do care. I, I like... I mean, I, I think that you guys should you know, work this out and make everything right between you. Why? Why do you care? I don't know. It's just that it, it kind of balances everything out, you know? I just think that you should probably trust what he's telling you. And remember, his stab wounds, are they're going to heal. But what about trust, you know? Did you ask him? Yeah, I did. And he said that just it doesn't matter, it doesn't make any difference that I stabbed him. Okay, then why would he lie? Why would he leave as soon as I fell asleep? Oh, God, get over it. If that's the worst of your problems, then you're halfway home. What about the other half? Well, just don't give him room to question how you feel. Love him a thousand percent and make sure he gets it. It's all that matters right now. We had a deal. I set that bastard up for you. Mm -hmm. And I sent him to hell. That cleans the slate between us. <laughs> you know, when you were an angel, at least you played by some rules. Rules? What, what rules? Come on, you should know there are no rules here. You set it up that way. Oh, okay. If that's the way you want it. Oh, come on, man. We're wasting each other's time. Okay, I mean, look at us. We're just a couple of fools. We can't kill each other. We can hardly hurt each other. So please, please, can we just stay out of each other's way? It'll never be over between you and me, will it? No, no, I, I guess not. You know, maybe not. But at least it's an even playing field. I have a feeling that ring will tilt the balance in your favor. So as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. If we never find it, it could only make things worse. Hmm. Did you ever think that maybe that ring has fallen into the hands of someone that doesn't know just how powerful it can be? Or, worse yet, Maybe he does know how powerful it is, and the plan's on abusing it. You see, Rafe, doing nothing to find the ring might just be the most dangerous thing of all. All right, all right. This is just a dream, right? You, you're not real. Do I feel like a dream? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. I don't know. I'm the only one who can see you. Yeah, so what? Who cares? Oh, God, you're right, you're right. Right. This is all that matters. God, how do I get you to stay? Oh, I miss you, drummer boy. I miss you. Casey, I gotta tell you, I've been having such a tough time since you've been gone. No, baby. Now you gotta look at the good news, okay? The whole thing about the band getting back together, right? Right? No, no. That doesn't mean anything anymore. It what? Ricky. No, it has to. Sweetie, right here. Where you live in your soul, it's the thing that matters most, doing your music. No, no. Yes. No, not anymore. It doesn't. Wait, what? It doesn't matter. 
Ricky, it has to. Otherwise, why did we even go through all this pain? But didn't I, didn't I tell you it, it, it would be okay to follow your dreams? I told you it would be safe. I'd watch your back, right? Yeah, but was that really you? As real as I am now. Sweetie, as real as I am right now. Please. Please, Ricky. Take the chance that you can be happy doing your music, okay? Do not lose that. Don't lose that because of me. Don't. All right. All right. Yeah. Fine, I'll do it. Do it. What are you doing? What? Oh, man, check it out. Look. Look who's back. <laughs> so, can I get you something else? Yeah. Um, oh. Actually, no. Pay that bill, and I'm gonna get out of here. There you go. Wow, thank you. Welcome to Port Charles. find the ring. Yeah, I figured. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, it wasn't there. And... Caleb's pretty determined to find it, so... I don't want to talk about the ring. And I don't want to talk about Caleb. Rafe, I really want to talk about what's going on between you and me. Oh, okay, stop right there. There's, there, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing going on between us. Something happened to us. It's just... Well, I, th I think the best thing for us to do is just put it in the past and so we can move on with our lives, okay? Yeah, right, let me get you something to eat. You want no, something? I don't... I don't want anything to eat. I, I know I put scars on you. I put them on your face. I'm okay. I put them on your I'm body not, and not, I know, I'm, I'm, I know I put them on your heart. I'm okay, all right. Come here. I'm, I'm just, I'm tired and I'm hungry, okay? I really, I really hope that you know how much I love you. Yeah, I do. And we both know that Joshua did something to me that made me capable of hurting you, but I think we need to talk about it. I want to talk about what's going on with us. Okay, okay. okay. You know what's going on? I love you. I always have, I always will. It's been a long day, though, you know, for both of us. So. I'm just tired, okay? Be asleep. Yeah, I was. Until I woke up. You weren't here again. Well, home now. You went back there, didn't you? You went to find the ring after everything we said to each other was just too seductive, wasn't it? Caleb, answer me. We don't walk away like that. Olivia, if I wanted to talk about it. I would talk about it, but I don't, not now. Okay, so you don't want to talk about the ring. You don't want to talk about Allison. You don't want to talk about our relationship, whatever that means. So what would you like me to do, Caleb? Am I supposed to just call and make an appointment? Because that's what I'll do.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, The Gift. Port Charles, what I'm asking you, man to man, is to wipe the slate clean. Let's stop pushing each other. I'm afraid I have a rather serious complaint against this household. Nobody move! I want to try it, pal! Not unless you and all your friends here want to die! Go back to another time when SoapNet gives you another chance to experience another world. Jump into another world weekdays at 11 a.m., 5 p.m., or at midnight. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.